I have to start this video by talking about Brahim Diaz. He suffered a serious injury and we wish him a speedy recovery. Really terrible news given his form and how important he has been to the squad. I've heard mixed reports but it looks like he'll be out for at least 6 weeks. After 5 games in La Liga, we've looked shaky. Traveling to the Basque part of Spain has never been easy. Real Sociedad was a Champions League side last season but they're simply not as good this season after they've lost some key players including Mike Marino who is a workhorse in midfield for them. Real Sociedad hit the post three times and we were awarded two penalties. The second one was a little bit harsh on Sociedad in my opinion, but by the letter of the law, it was a penalty. If that decision was made against Real Madrid, I'd be pissed. So far, Real Madrid has nine goals in La Liga and four of those goals have come from penalties. That means 45% of our goals have all come from penalty kicks. Let's be honest, it's shocking. It's not like we've been unlucky not to score more goals. Yesterday's game was a little different in the sense that Sociedad did not sit in a deep block and tried to press high up the pitch which in theory should have given us more opportunities in transition. But we were not efficient with the ball at all. And to be fair, we were missing a lot of personnel coming off of international duty. But there were some bright spots. This was Mbappe's best game at Real Madrid, in my opinion. He was lively and looked dangerous at so many moments in the game. He was unlucky not to score from open play. He had that one opportunity where he didn't wrap his foot around the ball, which looked very similar to the goal he scored against Sociedad when he was with PSG last season. There was also a chance in the first half that he takes with his left foot. Again, it's progress. He's making things happen and his body language is very positive. From a statistical point of view, Sociedad had an XG of 1.07 where we had an XG of 2.38. Some of those opportunities we didn't convert from corner kicks looked like they should have gone in. And it's good to see Carvajal getting on the end of another corner. We've been really deadly from set pieces and it's really about the fine margins. It's those small details that can win you championships. In this game, we had 50 52% possession, it was pretty even. But again, same issue as the previous games. We had a lot of the ball, a lot of lateral passes, no penetrating passes. This has been the theme this season. We're not moving the ball around quick enough. And I believe part of the reason Carlo Ancelotti likes having the same 11 and he doesn't like a lot of rotation is he understands that there's a lot of cohesion that happens when players play with each other consistently. But obviously the injuries have prevented that from happening. Our best match so far has been against Real. Betis, where we were able to generate an XG of 2.45. That's the most of any of our games in La Liga this season. But one of the biggest differences between that game and this one is Carvajal was given a lot more freedom to attack down the wing, unlike the game against Sociedad yesterday. Chuomeni also had one of his best matches in a Real Madrid jersey. He absolutely dominated the play without the ball. Chuomeni performed so well, and it was because the team was more compact and there was less spaces between the offensive and defensive lines. So when teams have the ball, especially when Chuameni is trying to screen and win the ball high up the pitch, when you're more compact, he can affect the game more. But when there's too many, when there's too much spaces, especially between the lines, that's where Chuameni has been struggling and not getting his best form at Real Madrid. And that's why if you're playing as a six under Carlo Ancelotti, especially if you're trying to press higher up the pitch, it leaves you to a lot of vulnerable counterattacks. So I just wonder if Chuameni would benefit more from more of a system type team. But again, his performance in the last game was impeccable. He was truly, he had his best game at, in a Real Madrid jersey. Glad to hear that he's supposed to start against Stuttgart and he should be fully fit. And one of the last two things I want to talk about in this video is the pressing. The pressing from this team, we, tr we attempted to press, especially in the first half, but it was not cohesive and it was not succinct. And when you try to press and you leave a big gaps in behind you, you make it so easy for the opposition to slice right through you, right down the middle, and you're really vulnerable at that point. And that's been part of the challenge is... We can't commit to either being a compact mid-block team or being a pressing team that tries to win the ball high up the pitch. There was only one sequence in the first half what I, when I remember actual associate that had to go wide and they lost the ball and gave us the essentially gave it back to us. But every time we tried to press them, they were able to play through our press and they were through essentially. So it's a dangerous game. We either need to commit to the press and throw numbers at them or we need to sit a little deeper and be more compact. There needs to be an identity and some sort of consistent patterns of play in this team. Now, I'm not saying we need to be like a team like Arsenal or Manchester City where it's like everything is systemized and everybody knows what they're doing to a T. But when you, especially with the large number of games that are going to be taking place now, 
theoretically there should be a lot of rotation when there is a lot of rotation if you plug in if you plug players into the squad and you have those patterns of play it makes it easier because you have a system in place and and people know what they're supposed to be doing but when you don't have a system and you also include a lot of rotation that's where you run into some pretty huge issues now just looking at barcelona they are looking solid and they're definitely going to be competing for la liga some people are saying that barcelona is peaking too early and there's going to be a dip and real madrid is going to peak towards october november december around that time when it really matters when we play the big matches and let's hope that is the case but if barcelona can sustain this form which let's be honest it's very unlikely that barcelona can continue to play like this for months and months and months they're having a really good spell i know and there's going to be a dip but it seems like they have a pretty solid manager who knows how he wants his team to play and the players are responding to it and one of the last things i want to talk about in this video before we wrap things up is the movement off the ball now that is one of the things that we're really lacking which is the off ball movement you're not seeing overlapping runs from the fullbacks you're not seeing players making uh runs to create space or drag defenders out of position or anything like that the only player who's really doing that effectively is Kylian mbappe so i think the movement without the ball is going to be really important but of course the movement without the ball makes it more challenging when teams when teams sit in a deep block and that's why certain teams create overloads on the in the white space to try to drag players out of position and we've got to figure that out somehow so there's a lot of games between now and the end of the season. Carlo Ancelotti said in the press conference after the game that both Eder Militao and Rudiger will be rotated and rested in the next few games coming up. We have three games at the Bernabeu at home coming up, followed by a really tough test in the Metropolitano against Atletico Madrid. That's going to be a tough game because we've always struggled against Atletico Madrid. Last season in La Liga, we only took one point off them. To be fair, we should have gotten three points at the Bernabeu, but we conceded really late. And I was so sure we were going to win that game. And the last thing is, Endrick needs to get more minutes. He's coming in in the 85th minute. The few cameos he has had, he's looked really good. So I'm really looking forward to seeing more from Endrick, especially now that we have all these home games i expect him to be able to feature more so guys the defense of our champions league trophy starts on tuesday against stuttgart i'm working on a champions league uh preview video so make sure you turn on your notifications to stay up to date with all the latest information thank you for watching Hala madrid